everybody! My name is Maya and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a trip up to a local creek and I'm hoping to catch some smallmouth bass and northern pike today. I'm only planning on spending a couple hours at this creek today. Um, it's a short drive to get there, but it's going to get dark soon. It's actually just after 6 now. It's about 6.15 and I don't want to be stuck at this creek when it gets dark. So we're probably just going to get a line in the water for a little while and then see if we can catch anything and head back. I really hope that you guys are as excited for this video as I am because I'm really looking forward to getting down to this creek, getting a line in the water, and hopefully catching some fish today. So without further ado, let's get the stuff packed into the car and start the drive down to the creek. Alright guys, I am fishing extremely light today. I just have my ultralight rod set up and I have a little plastic crayfish here with a 1 ounce jig head. And then I have this package of Mr. Twisters and then this little container of lures and that is all that I have with me today. I do have to say this is pretty beautiful. The sun setting over there and just kind of reflecting off of the water. It's actually a really nice time to be out at this creek and I don't come out here often at sunset just because I don't like fishing here when it gets dark because as you can see it's not very easy to walk around here and it's even harder to do so when you can't see anything. There we go, I got one. Ah, it's a little smallmouth. First catch of the day is a little baby smallmouth. I got him on that crayfish lure. Ah, oh, he's so little. <laughs> First catch of the day on that crayfish lure. He came out right from beside all these weeds over here. I'll see you later. I have to kind of throw him in so we're not too close to the shore here, but thank you for biting, little guy. There we go, first catch of the day. It's a little one, but you know what that means. It can only go up from here. Oh, I got one. Fish on. Oh, wow. That's a big smallmouth. Whoa. <laughs> nice jump. Oh, yeah, let's get the net for this one. I can see he's got bright red eyes. <laughs> that fish came from right next to that tree in the water. I kind of expect, whoa, kind of expected there to be a fish there. This might be a problem. He's in weeds. Okay, we're getting him. Yeah. Man, this fish has got a lot of energy. Yeah, he came right out from the side of that tr whoa, tree right across from me. I had a feeling there might be one sitting in there. There he goes again. Might be one sitting in there because it's all like this tree was never down before. So it's a lot of cover and in a creek that doesn't have much cover. That's probably where they're going to be hiding. What an awesome fight this fish is putting up. <laughs> That's crazy. not giving up. Wait, here he comes, here he comes. You get him? Nice! Oh, that's a nice one. That is a really nice Very fish. Nice. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't realize how big it was until it came out of the net. That is a huge smallmouth bass. This fish is very large for this creek and he took that craw and Look what he did to the craw, took an arm off of it. <laughs> but we're gonna get a weight on this guy because this is a really nice fish. We just got a weight on this fish. It is 2.6 pounds. That is one of the biggest smallmouth I've caught in a really long time. What an awesome catch. Beautiful smallmouth, first catch of the day. Let's get him right back in the water. Thank you so much for biting. What an awesome fight that fish put up. Oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but that beautiful fish has swum off, swam off, swum off, swam off. I was getting a little nervous there for a minute because I wasn't swimming off right away, but probably just exhausted from the fight. And now I'm gonna attempt catching a fish on a crayfish with one leg. Maybe it'll make it more appealing. Maybe it'll make it less appealing. Who knows? Either way, we're gonna try. I'm gonna probably come back to the spot on the way back, but I'm gonna give it a minute to settle down because I just caught two fish out of here. One of them was that really big smallie, but I'm gonna move down a little bit, see if there's anything willing to bite in one of these spots up here. There's no cover here, but I'm gonna just cast 
right that way, because there is shade. And as we've learned, fish enjoy shade, especially when the water is like, I don't know, probably in the 70s. Oh, there's just a huge wake underneath where my lure is. I bet I spooked a carp out. Or something has it. <laughs> there was something on the end of my line. Didn't even realize I had it on. Usually they hit so hard too. You know immediately, but this one I didn't even feel it. Hang on, little guy. There we go. Actually, not so little guy. This is another, I mean, not as big as that second one we caught, but oh my goodness. Another pretty nice fish. All right, this little guy is a flopper, so I wanna get him back because he's got a ton of energy left in him. Fun catch, just as the sun is setting right there in front of us. Thank you so much for biting. Oh, something just hit it. Got him. Oh, that feels like a pretty decent one. Oh yeah, pulling all kinds of drag over here. Oh, I'm so afraid because there's all these weeds in the water and the second that fish is able to get into them, could be game over. Come on, don't go that way. Oh no, this might actually be a problem. It looks to be pretty big. I mean, just by the size of the wakes it's making and the fight it's putting up. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's another huge, oh my gosh. It's another huge smallmouth. Looks like I have him hooked pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land him here because there's not many good places I can get in the water. Dad's all the way down there. Ugh. I can, if I can lip him, I can get him. <laughs> Just not ready to give up yet. Ugh. Come on, there we go, I got him. Look at that. Check out the size of that smallmouth, guys. This is the second really decent smallmouth that we caught today. This one's probably a little bit smaller than that first one we caught, but pretty comparable in size. I'd say this is probably a two pounder, so maybe about a half a pound lighter than that first one, but what an awesome catch. That was so exciting. All right, I wanna get this fish back in the water right away. Let's let her go right here. Oh. And there she goes back into the water. Thank you. Whoa, thank you so much for biting. All right, so I'm going to wrap this video up right there with this beautiful sunset over the creek right behind me here. I had an amazing time fishing this creek today. I hooked into some really great fish and this crayfish lure worked amazing, even though it is pretty beat up now, and I did lose a couple along the way. It was definitely worth it to come out here and throw this lure around for the little time that I had. I had an amazing time making this video. It was so much fun to be out here and spend some time in nature with this beautiful sunset behind me here over the water. That was just another highlight to the day. It was just an all around really great time, and I'm really glad that I was able to get a bunch of it on video and share it with you guys. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this, and I guess I'll see you in the next video.